Hey guys, Rashad here from rmbsinginglessons.com with another singing pitch trainer tutorial. Now this one's exciting, this one is runs, one of my favorite things to teach amongst everything else in singing. Alright, so let's say we want to learn some runs. What I've done here is created a uh, thing which you can import into singing pitch trainer on your side, which I have called runs progressive four progressively harder. Okay, so this is four common runs and it, it's like a kind of run that progressively gets harder all right so it's like there's four different versions of this run that you'll hear in songs so i'm going to teach you those four different versions and al along with that how to use singing pitch trainer to improve your voice as well so let's so here i've numbered it we've got one two three and then four the fourth one there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to select the first three okay three notes and that's the one okay can you see i've started the second run there i just put all the runs together in one file so that you can just have them all in that one place and pick what you want to practice so here's what it sounds like and let's um let's measure my voice as well while i'm doing it let's just see the chart there so we can see my voice uh oh let's slow it down we'll go nice and slow at third at, at uh, 30 or so okay press play so that's how you would practice it okay and check your notes once make sure they're right and then you're going to work on building up the speed so it's all about speed building okay runs are just about having perfect accuracy and then moving really quickly across those notes so they sound like tuk, 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 like steps uh, 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 uh. that's what it sounds like okay so here's an example of me using that in a run um, Senorita, ah, uh, senorita. Okay, that's me using that run in, in a bit of a song. It's just one of the songs I wrote. Um, you, 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 you. Just does that. Okay, so that's an example of that run. So here's how you build the speed. So you set the repeat on. So we're going to press repeat. Okay, we're going to turn auto speed on. We're going to make it one rep. You can make it more than one rep, but I'm going to make it one rep now. And I'll press on. Okay. When I press play, it's going to gradually go faster and faster. Okay. And I'm checking my pitch as I'm doing it too on the green bar. Oh. It's jumped up to 35 now. It's gone faster. If you can't see that, there you see it there. Okay, 35. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's. It looks like it's a uh, pause when I've changed the zoom. Okay, here we go. It's 35 now. And make sure you're connecting the notes, no pausing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't do that. Connect them. different vowels if you want e a word yeah you we are, I. any words like that mm, it's getting faster Ooh. once it passes 100 you can take the chart off because you won't need to use the chart anymore once you know you're accurate going to keep going up to 140 is the limit so then you can also start as you get better and faster you can start on the faster settings okay that's double triple quadruple so let's say i'm advanced okay let's say this is too easy for you you're not a beginner or you've checked your pitch now you want to go faster let's go on 16th notes okay and we'll put it on 12 and then we're going to do it on this and watch how fast it's going to go okay we'll take the chart off we don't need it because we're already on pitch Ooh, 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 ooh
right? They go, ooh, 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 ooh. And you can try on your own if you want. So that's the way you build it, all right? So let's say it's exact same. It's the same process with any run you learn. So let's say this is the next one, which is the harder version. All right, we'll bring it back down, take that off, bring it nice and slow. Turn the chart on to make sure we get the notes right. Let's say I'm going to start at 30. Let me show you what that sounds like quickly, okay? I'll turn the chart off. whenever you need to. So you can do it in any key you want, okay? Um, so you can go higher if you need to go, you just press key up and it'll go higher, okay? Take it to a much higher key. You can see the key changing here and the notes are changing, they're getting higher. Now you might have performance issues with the app, sometimes it goes slow, okay? It is a, quite a complicated app and unfortunately the developers couldn't get it so that it's perfectly like uh, always in perfect timing. So the important part is that you're getting the notes and that they're getting faster. Okay, that's the main point. And once you can get to 140, then you can move back into songs. But that helps you get that movement, okay, the movement to be able to go slow to quick while keeping the notes connected and not pausing in between them. That's the point of this. And it's to teach you notes. The hardest, there's two hard parts in singing. One, getting the notes, actually learning the notes in the first place and knowing that you're accurate on the notes. That's what the chart is for and that's what the notes are there for. And then the second part is getting faster on the notes so you can be able to execute them at the same time as they happen in a song. So those are the two stages, okay? And using this will allow you to get there, all right? Um, my students have learned really hard, really long runs with this and been extremely successful as opposed to trying to just figure out the notes by ear and always having to play them on the piano as they go. So you can see it's, uh, it's very useful in that way. Hope that teaches you how to use runs. This is simple runs. I'll make another video to learn much longer runs as well. Okay, this is shorter, short, fast runs. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Send me through any questions you might have to Singing Pitch Trainer. Oh, another thing I can show you is also you can practice changing keys in this too. So let's say we don't want to go faster, but we do want to work on getting our different keys. So we'll turn this on here with one rep. It's going to change key at every rep. Ready? So you could practice your run in different keys. So let's say, you know, you could do it at, there's many different ways you can do it and I'll put out a, a list of different strategies that you can do as you train. Okay guys, hope you enjoy this, see ya.